Every parent wants to give their child the best start. It's recommended that if possible, babies are exclusively breastfed for the first six months, but deciding what to do can be one of the most stressful aspects of becoming a new mum. There's a lot of pressure on women to breastfeed. Um, she is breastfed, um, but because she had a low birth weight, I had to top up with formula. And even that was so was really upsetting for me. If you're giving your daughter a bottle or your son a bottle, sometimes people come up and, and tell you what a shame it is. Some women find it difficult to breastfeed and then they're made to feel bad about that. And what's the most important thing is that the mother is happy. The wealth and education of the mother can often skew the results of breastfeeding research, but the study published today is the first to rule out social class as a factor. It found any period of being breastfed had a positive effect on intelligence, education and income at the age of 30, with those breastfed for a year scoring four IQ points higher, staying in education almost a year longer and earning 25% more compared to those breastfed for less than a month. Now I don't want to make mothers feel guilty because it isn't the only thing that makes your brain develop as a baby. Uh, breastfeeding is just one component, so in a sense it just tells us about breastfeeding, but it does tell us that it's important. Claire specialises in helping women with breastfeeding problems and wishes more was done to understand the obstacles they face. I find it astonishing that we do so many studies looking at the benefits of breastfeeding, whereas what we should be doing is studies to see why aren't women doing it. Today's research indicates that how a baby is fed has a measurable impact on intelligence and achievement in adulthood. That may add to the guilt of some new mothers, but may provide many others with added motivation to breastfeed their child. Catherine Jones, 5 News.